Hey guys, welcome to another episode. This week we celebrate our anniversary. 16th anniversary that is. Our 16 years of being married. We get to go surfing and we have a little bit of drama in Catella. We made a bad call this morning. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Daddy. Oh, that log 
bro. <laughs> Coconut, spice rum, Malibu, Malibu, I've uh, had a few, I haven't actually, it's my first one. A couple of ice cubes in there. Cheers guys. Delicious. Never thought it'd be easy to feel you in my arms, but now we're here and I'm all in. First made us a love heart cake. It's a pina colada cake. It's a vanilla cake with some pineapple and coconut cream icing. Did I say pineapple or vanilla? What'd you get? You made a bad call this morning. 30 knots. Probably our fourth squall. So we are sailing. We just had like a nasty squall. Um, and my sourdough um, mother was on the bench. It's actually gone flying and it's broken but and it's spilled everywhere and it's like pain to clean up it's gonna be such a pain to clean up but the other thing is like i picked all the glass up that i can see and it is definitely not the size of the jar so there's glass missing this is the glass i've found i don't know where the rest of the glass is it was a big jar, so I'm not sure where the rest of the glass is, but hopefully I find it before someone steps on it. Yeah, we're not having the greatest uh, sail today. Things are still falling. Anyway, I'm going to try and find this glass and uh, attempt to make some food. The joys of sailing, hey? The joys. Isn't this what you picture living on a boat? like going up and down and your kitchen's on a lean and everything's going flying from one side to the other. Not ideal all the time. Yeah. 
get back and show nothing else breaks. It's definitely calmed down a lot in here. Having a much better run, about four hours into our journey. So, we've got a 10 hour journey today, um, 50 nautical miles. Had a really good uh, little sail today. Well, motor sail, but we had wind behind us. We've had wind most of the time, so it was nice. It was way better than what we tried to go the other day. <laughs> it would have not been fun if we continued the other day. So, just about to get dark, and we're pretty stoked we're here before dark because we don't want to come in and dark because you've got to come in between waves. There's like waves either side of where you come in. We're glad we're here before the sun's gone completely down, aren't we, Captain? Yeah, we didn't get any fish. No fish. I'm so happy. We've got fresh fruit and vegetables, and it's just um, so stoked. It's like, so happy. <laughs> it's the little things, you know? So, what's going on here, ladies? <laughs> Well, you know how it is. You can't find a good peanut butter. You just got to make it yourself. And the nuts we could find only come with skins on them. So. <laughs> that looks like a little bit of tedious work there. We got nothing else going on. That's <laughs> what you do. Sit around, peel some peanuts. Doesn't everybody do this to make peanut butter? Watch out. Here's the peanut butter. This is all peanut butter. They all look different. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, this one, this is uh, cinnamon because I put it in my cinnamon jars and I thought, oh, I won't rinse it out, it'll taste nice. So I think this one's probably got more, um, I put a bit of coconut oil in that one, a bit more. So that one's probably like smooth peanut butter and these two are more crunchy. Anyway, <laughs> it's homemade peanut butter. We had fresh food again, so we headed back out to the islands. I can see it on the horizon. Spray painted. Well, I'm just getting rid of all the old oil in preparation for passage back to Australia. So I've got some miles to do on the engine. So I'm just uh, going to give it a once over, change out the oil filters, oil filter, fuel filters, new oil. Um, it's got new gearbox oil, so new air filter, hopefully problem free to Australia. Let's see how we go. Like that, she's ready for another 250 hours. A bit of crud in there. And yeah, well, it was time to change it. Indonesian sludge in there. Probably be right for a little while, but we don't want to risk cutting out anywhere. So, still going. Um, 
I serviced all the engine earlier on, done all my oil filters and um, fuel filters and once over before our long passage back to Australia and the starter motor stopped but what it was was this little terminal here has just corroded and come apart if it was did look like this one but it just snapped off so I've got the new one I just I don't have time to play around with it but here's the new one so I'll put this on there's the terminal that was missing off the old one so there's nothing wrong with this one this is going to be a spare I may even just get a whole new solenoid or get someone to solder a new terminal on for me so we've got a backup but worst case we could still get that going if we needed to but that's where we're at it's, uh, we got distracted and this is why we got distracted because <laughs> it was a bloody sunshiny good day flying low under the radar like a night hawk stealth plane you are hiding out in the shadows keeping from the light of day nobody should in and we should be good again oh, I could have made do made it sort of a little dodgy there but I'll replace that so we've got another backup for if anything goes wrong with this one so last time we had starter problems starter motor problems in Indonesia it just wasn't this simple <laughs> if only it was we would have got to Raja Ampat honey we did learn from our mistakes though which is a bonus we didn't come back to Indonesia with not a spare starter motor. He's putting in tonight just in case tomorrow is as nice as today. Today was absolutely beautiful. Hey guys! It's pretty nice. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Keep watching. Peace. <laughs>